Spurs Mafia, what's going on? Tom Petrini here to break down an awesome night for Keldon Johnson in his second summer league game. 29th pick, scores 29 points. And it was Clay Thompson-esque. Uh, he needed four total dribbles to score 10 baskets. Um, eight buckets with no dribbles at all. If you don't believe me, we're going to count right here. We'll start with catch and shoot threes because those are going to dominate his shot profile at the next level. He shot 45% in college on open looks, and you can see why. Look at this shot prep. Beautiful little hop, like an inch off the ground. Great for his timing. You see it again here. Little hop right there, and it's right into his shot. No wasted time, no wasted motion. If he's open, he's taking that, and you want him to. On this one here, ball swings around. And he's, he's ready for it. He sees it two passes away. Shuffles into it. Bang. Johnson is also really dangerous off the ball in transition. Um, here we see him running the floor, timing it right. Easy dunk for him. He's patient running the floor. He knows when the break is starting. He knows where to be. And especially with the young core that the Spurs have, he's going to get a lot of buckets doing just this. Running the floor, following the break easy rebound. That brings us to his rebounding. He had seven boards in this game. Board man gets paid. This is a really decisive move for him in transition. One, two, nice little euro finger roll, but he missed. Brings it down, right back up with it. Bucket. This play, he makes a decent box out on the offensive glass, and he puts it back up almost like a volleyball set. Now he's also really good at making quick cuts and quick decisions when he catches the ball. Here, again, no dribbles. We're about to see our first dribbles of this whole video. One, two, that's it. That's all he needs. Now this was the best play of the night. Second night in a row, a summer spur beats the third quarter buzzer. And two dribbles, Eurostep, <laughs> launches it from 45 feet. Are you kidding me? That's just incredible. High five your way to the bench, young man. It was really good to see this part because uh, when Quindary Weatherspoon hit that buzzer beater last night, uh, Keldon was the first to jump in the air and chest bump him. Um, but again, look at this. One, two. That is a Euro step almost into a 45-foot three-pointer. Not the first time he's done something like that, though. Here's the end of the City Hoops Classic, and Madison Square Garden is team down by three. Nailed it. I'd trust Keldon Johnson Jr. from the logo any day of the week. That kid's got ice in his veins. I do want to talk quickly about his defense because that's how he will earn minutes at the next level. Uh, he's feisty on the ball. He makes things happen. He gets out in transition. He starts breaks. He finishes breaks. You can't wait to see this guy play next to DeJounte Murray, Lonnie Walker, Derek White defensive-minded players, he's going to be a nightmare on the break. On draft night, Keldon Johnson Jr. was that guy that the Spurs drafted that nobody knew how he fell that far. Um, he was a projected, you know, some, somewhere between 10 and, and 25. Um, but nobody expected him to fall to the Spurs at 29. But he's embraced this opportunity. He seems really excited to be a part of this organization. Um, in interviews before the draft, before he was a Spur, he had said that Kawhi Leonard was one of his favorite players to watch. And it, in his game, you can see shades of, you know, 2013, 2014 system player Kawhi. Um, because he really doesn't need the ball in his hands. And that makes him a really attractive fit next to DeMar DeRozan, LaMarcus Aldridge, DeJounte Murray, Derek White, Lonnie Walker. All of these players who dominate the ball, um, they need a finisher on the wing who can space the floor, catch it, make quick decisions, um, be scrappy on defense and get buckets. And Keldon Johnson is exactly that. He's 6'6", six, 6'9", six, six, wingspan, um, and he's just a dog. He just gets after it, and I think that's what makes him 
more prepared than any of the other Spurs rookies to actually crack the rotation um, because he fills a need on the wing and he is pretty much ready for that role. He was the third option at Kentucky. Um, so I, I think on the broadcast tonight, they said he had 15 total possessions in college where he was the pick and roll ball handler. He had nine ISOs and six post-ups. So he is a finisher to the core, a perfect system player. And I can't wait to see what the Spurs development staff do with him. I can't wait to see how he puts the work in and develops. Um, he's going to be really great. 29 points, three of four from three, seven rebounds, three steals. Uh, he does a little bit of everything out there except dribble too much. And it's beautiful to see. Till next time, go Spurs, go.